More than 71% of voters approved Amendment 2 in November, and now Governor Scott signed a law regulating the medical marijuana industry. SNN Samantha Sonner met with a local doctor and has the story. Florida Senate Bill 8A is now in effect, and Dr. Barry Gordon says it does a lot to protect patient access. We wanted to keep the constitutional amendment wording as it was with the qualifying conditions, but also that very important catchphrase of similar and likewise debilitating conditions of the same kind or class based upon the discussion with your doctor that medical cannabis is an appropriate product for you. The law also eliminates the 90-day waiting period for patients. But Dr. Gordon is concerned that patients aren't required to see their doctor again for 210 days. I don't feel that's appropriate. We schedule each and every one of those patients back for a follow-up visit at the 90-day level so that we can assess what's going on once they've got their products on board and, and we're seeing how they're doing. Dr. Gordon says it can be confusing for patients who've never used cannabis before. And I do get concerned about some practices that don't have the high standards that ours do that may send those type of patients out into what I call the wild, wild west of medical cannabis without, you know, further consultation. Smoking is still banned, but Dr. Gordon says there are plenty of other options for people to use medical cannabis. Vaping is allowed. Now, vaping in the form of an e-cigarette type of delivery system that is not combusting the actual flower or plant is what's available now in Florida. Now, the advantage of that is the rapidity of the delivery and the reliability. Oils and edibles are also available for patients. Dr. Gordon says while the system isn't perfect, patients are getting the medicine they need. And now we see patients coming back with the positive benefits every day. And as a physician, that's what you want to see. A lot of gratification going on right now. Reporting in Venice, I'm Samantha Sonner, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. And right now there are two lawsuits challenging that legislation, one challenging the smoking ban, the other challenging the rule preventing patients from growing the plant.